but really like the look of this place. Okay. Yeah, we're getting more experience for sure. Wondering how these guys attack once they do. I'd rather not find out, honestly. Sure, I will, eventually. Love that move. It's so cool. Damn, all of this sugar. Don't mind if I do. Ah, yes. How is that not a... Yeah, definitely a different type of combat here. Let's see what you got. See not there you go. Yeah, definitely a step up. They're they're a fun, like different type of enemy here. I immediately tried to do a Mikuri counter, but it did not work very well. And there's a lot of them. Wow. Probably a good farming point once you're um once you're more competent, I guess. Yeah, that didn't work. Their handed guy is obviously a little easier to deal with. Now in this game, I kind of would have thought the opposite. They'd make those guys super tough. But thankfully, I'm, I'm at a high enough level where I can, even if I'm not playing great, I can still take these guys out. Yeah, it's, it's busy. It's definitely busy. Gotta be careful here, it could be multiple people hitting me. This is the sugar squad right here. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Starting to stack that cash as well.
almost didn't realize there was a way in like this. Little shits. Yeah, even these guys here give a little more. single skill point here and it's been a while okay oh really no this time it happened too early I'm gonna get out of here Pretty sure there's a nice way to kind of take them all out. Rather than have to do that. And well, there's a lot of work we'd have to redo. Oh, nice. That's a good find. Okay. Um. Yeah, you never know. Right. Let's try this again. So this is one where hopefully if I can get one of them and then use a smoke thing that would help. Go for the middle one. There might be something a bit more significant here. Ah, oh, really? Ooh. Nice. Trading a bit here, but we'll be okay. Close. Yeah, enemies that big definitely better as a death blow if you can. Okay. Ah, there you go. That's the fat wax that we needed. I think we need at least two. But at least we got one. It's her again.
Okay, the NPC conversations have not been that productive so far, unfortunately. But I mean, it really is a stunning area. I don't know, just something about this aesthetic for me is just so good. I assume I'm not the only one. Awesome. There's some creepy looking things here. This is all fine, everything's fine. Need to find the next um, idol here. Nice. And we do have a gourd seed as well, so I'm trying to keep track of everything. So I think this is the kite bit, right? The bit that we couldn't get across, I assume. Not sure yet how that's going to work. It's a big old area. Still not even a single skill point here. Getting close now. Getting lots of items too. So I guess these are places obviously once you learn which areas drop what, you can always come back here and farm stuff when you need it. Like these consumables are definitely powerful. Hmm, these guys again. Okay. It's been a while. Hmm. Just want to see if there's another way in. I feel like there's got to be some kind of gap underneath, but... Seem like it. Aha. Is it a mini boss? Okay, maybe not. But I do need an idol now. Yeah, okay. They're not, uh, they're just regular enemies. Can obviously still kill me, but if the I can be a bit less worried if they're just regular encounters. It's a busy area with the Quite a large mix of enemies. We'll start with this guy if we can. He's there. Uh, oh, 
he's got a heavy coin pass. Excellent. Let's see what he does. For me, I'm always just interested in watching how these guys are programmed and what they do and stuff. Even if it makes the gameplay slower, it's, for me it's always kind of interesting. And for these guys, I wanted to do a little death from above kind of thing. There we go. Especially because I haven't been to an idol for a while. I'm just trying to be extra careful. But in the future, this seems like a nice area to rampage through, like once you're really powerful and confident here. Yeah, all of this stuff seems pretty sealed off. Let's keep going. Got to give us an idol here. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, good stuff. I think now I'm going to go and um, talk to Kuro and Emma. Get the extra gold seed. Okay. Emma first. Okamidono. I wonder what the maximum number is. Okay, let's see the little guy. Senkyoni that's interesting. Senkyo I kind of want to ask Ishin about it, because <laughs> I've been wondering about these for some time. That's the answer. Wow. Where did I end up? All the... Uh, I see. That's dope. Now. I do have enough money to buy yet another gourd seed, which I feel like I probably should. Amazing. But I can also get some upgrades, like this one. Um, yeah, it is a whole thousand. Maybe not for now. And well, I might get a new prosthetic, and maybe I want to upgrade that instead. I don't know. Yo, the mother. So, I think for now, can I get the, no, I can't, oh, I have three, I'm going to sell one, three of these, and then just a little bit of this stuff. Maybe I should get this too, honestly, Sabimaru. Yeah, I'm going to get that too. 
Still leaves me one heavy coin pass at least. Maybe I, I, I definitely feel like it's not something I already have. So at least this one's kind of infinite as well. I can buy as many as I want, which would be pretty helpful. Let's have a look at this note. Right. Uh, the ancient Kodachi Sabimaru can be found within Ashina Castle, enshrined in the bottom floor of the keep. Sabimaru was wielded in wars of old and is a national treasure of Ashina. Supposedly, the blade's poisonous blue rust could drive off even the inhuman Okami warrior women. Hmm. Bottom floor of the keep. Okay. Quickly back to Emma to get another gold seed, and, uh, and then I kind of want to investigate that. So, started off with exploring. I think that's probably the best, because that guy with the with the terror heads or whatever, that was not good. So, <laughs> I'm happy to stick to this for now. Okay, um, we're talking about the keep. Okay, I guess the, the keep is like apparently the most central kind of place. Like the most central, the most fortified. So my assumption is obviously here. Let's see how that's going to work. Very satisfying to just do this to these guys. Ah. Uh, so I think it, whatever's on the other side of this, I think that's like the keep. But how do we get there? That's the question. Okay, just made sure I beat all of those guys. Right now I'm kind of overpowered for them, so I didn't have to do too much. Just generally trying to see if there's any other ways in to the castle. That's why I wanted to look around this bit. Okay, so I've been doing some clearing out and I've not found anything. My assumption now is that it might be in the place where Ishin is. Obviously, I assume Ishin's the man. So, he needs to be well protected. So, let's try that. I'm not going to rest, just travel. Alright, let's see if he has anything new to say. Okay. So, let's head down this path. It was very treacherous last time. Not sure why this is happening. Okay. So yeah, I'm wondering if it's at like the bottom of this, but for now the only way seems up. Don't let you with this one. Fine. 
So these guys are already scaled high enough that you can't just overpower them. Oof. Horrible damage. They will not let you. Oh, get out. Should not be dying to these guys. Yeah, they're still tough. For, for something that only gives you 729 experience, they're definitely difficult. How did that... How many... These combos are insane. These guys are generally avoided until now. That's why. Yeah, I take even a second to try and do something else. It's like, nope. What a dick. Yeah, it's only 79, but... Oof. What does she do? Not much is the answer. Sorry, Granny. How many times? But yeah, I basically want to head down to the depths of here. That's the goal. Okay. Question is, how do I get down here? Come on then. There we go. It's a better fight. Okay, right, I got you now. I got it. So I think that is where I have to go. Now the question is, how do I get there? Can I just let myself fall? Apparently so. No one saw that. Okay. <laughs> I'm 
Sure. This might be a nice shortcut. I assume even if I die now, the shortcut stays. Yeah. Perfect. Good stuff. Okay. Better. The sign appears, so I thought it was about to get attacked. Alright. Your liver. Hopefully, this is what we were looking for. Yeah. Okay. Can be fitted, fitted to the Shinobi prosthetic to create a tool. Forged by the Ashina clan to resist the inhuman evil that had invaded Ashina in times long forgotten. It was the poisonous gift of the blue rust that finally drove the spirits out. So I can poison enemies with this, it seems. Very nice. And then another shortcut. Very good. Okay. That's a good find. So it seems like your blade, like your standard blade, sticks with you basically until the end of the game. Oh. 